What is up, everybody? It's your boy Prince Truth here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WB2K19. No real news, but we're about to watch Ultimate Warrior take on Rehab. My left eye has been watering lately, like really bad. Has his arm tied up. It takes down. Rehab. Rehab gets caught. Has him on the ropes. It's Stenton's rehab. Rehab not doing too good. Against the warrior. Oh, good job, Rayer. Punch to the jaw. Warrior off the ropes. We have goes under. Oof, uppercut. They kind of just bumped into each other. I don't think Rehab knew what he wanted to do. The suplex. Rehab hits a neck breaker. Knee right to the head. <laughs> Attacking every limb the warrior has. Oops, sends rehab up and over. Sends him straight down to the mat. Oh, picks up rehab. Wrenching on the shoulder. We have up. We have just a kick to the gut. Warrior slams him down. What an amazing show of strength. Oh, military press again. No. Nope. We have gets out and delivers a DDT. We have knew that had to be a backbreaker. That would have been it, and he knew that. Oh, re whatever he was going for there, not gonna have him. DDT. Oh, rehab all the way across the ring. If he hits this, this this is gonna be it. Spear. I don't think I don't think Warrior knows where he is. Rehab. Jackhammer. I can't believe it. I don't know how Warrior just kicked out of that. Rehab slams the arm down looking for the cover. Punch to the jaw. Oof. And he has him up again and drops.
Oh. Gorilla press. Rolls over. Rehab. And looking for the cover. Rehab is able to fight back. Into, we'll fight back into the match. Not fight back. Because right now he's still in his butt handed to him. Oh. Oh. Ultimate Warrior. Feeling it. Warrior taking it to rehab. Oh, whoa. DDT. This one has no momentum at all, which could make it more powerful. Could. Oh, headlock. I'm gonna wear down the opposition here. Picks up Warrior. Looking for another jackhammer. And rehab takes it. I don't think rehab can believe it. Going on to the next. Up next, we have John Cena taking on The Miz. I really like using John Cena. He's a very fun character to use, and I don't know why, but I like The Miz more. I like The Miz. I I've always liked The Miz. And this would never happen. John Cena would come out second. Most definitely. Who calls for the bell? Miz quickly. Vance behind Cena. In the early going of this match, Cena. Miz. It takes down Cena. I'm looking to wear. John down here. Cena fighting out. Plants Cena down. I think Miz is going to go to work here. Caught Cena before Cena could do anything. Cena went for a punch, but Miz did not let that happen. Oh, it's lame disrespect to John Cena. The Miz oh, oh, gets caught. DDT. Cena. Sheer power. Oh, 
Oh, gets caught. Drop Cena. Oh, Cena off the ropes to the cover. I can't move. Oh, okay. We're good. Ish. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Oh, Cena turns around to get caught. DDT from the Miz. I don't want to do this yet. Miz skull crushing finale. He's going to use his resiliency because every time I work for two finishers, they don't kick out with the resiliency. Oh, jawbreaker from the Miz. These fans get behind Cena again. But as I was saying, every time I work for two finishers, they always they always kick out no they no they don't kick out they, they don't use resiliency but when I use just one they always use it I'm actually very shocked that I won off that pin No. Two, three. Cena's claiming that, that was two. What's up, Cena? What's up, Cena? Up next, we have the Raw Tag Team Champions taking on Primo and Epico. I just don't feel good about Primo and Epico. I just don't feel like they're going to be okay. <clears throat> Load faster. I still don't know why their entrance is not fixed. I don't know what's going on with it. I've edited it a good few times. And this match is not for the championships. I do want to make that clear. This match is not for the championships. Referee calls for the bell. And Primo quickly. Coming out of the gates to take down Jordan. Jordan puts Primo to the ground looking for early cover. Elbow drop. The tags out to Damien. Damien coming in strong with his partner. Jordan got to get out of there. Primo plants Damien to the mat.
puts Primo to the ground, punch to the head, but gets Prim. I'm oh, sorry, Epico. Jawbreaker. The forearm to the face. Did he hit it? No, he didn't. Oh, Damien. Off the distraction. Oh, that time. Hits the drop kick. Damien catches him. Slams his face off the mat. Stomp to the face. Damien. Picks up Epico, but Epico with with an arm drag. Hurricanrana. Damian was trying to crawl over to Jordan. It was unsuccessful. I'm looking for cover. Picks up Damien, a punch of two punches. Jeez. Epico coming in. Suplex. Epico and Primo are doing a lot better than I was expecting them to. Tags out. And here comes Primo. Look at cross face. DDT. Takes him down. Oh, I don't know what Damien's doing here. Looks like he ran into the uh, turnbuckles this time instead of doing his usual ropes. The two is trainer. I don't know what he was trying to do, but Primo fought out of it. Kick to the face. Damien, Damien hits a strong clothesline. Damien showing sheer power. And slams Primo to the mat. Cross face. What's you gonna do here? Oh, not again. Slamming Primo again. Oh, gets caught by Primo. Primo hits a punch to the gut. And a bulldog. Punch to the head. Primo tried to grab. Damien was unsuccessful. Looking for the cover. Well, Jordan came in to save the match, but was they were a little unsuccessful.
straight out powerbomb and Jordan. And Epico delivering suplex after suplex. Oh, la oh. And Primo's a mess. Jordan Damien able to fight back Jordan just come in and save the match I don't think Primo knew that there was a cover happening what's oh, Jordan I'm talking about Jordan what's Damien looking for here oh no Damien for the second row Yeah, Jordan better get in there because they ain't no way. Hey, it was no way Epico was gonna kick out of that. What a move from Damien. I'm not gonna show that one again. Of all the ones that they show, they are going to show the one that ended the match. Okay, whatever. Fine. Up next, we have The Rock taking on Finn Balor. Rock was able to retain against Sauces last night. I'm gonna be honest. I'm very. I'm. I'm pretty disappointed with that. I really wanted to see Sauces win that. champion I do have my 100th episode coming on soon and it's actually going to be like a pay-per-view it's going to be a three hour long episode or more or or close to three hours People's champion. I started off like the Demon King's music, but he's not the Demon King. If he calls for the bell. I don't know what Balor was trying to do there. It was unsuccessful. However, he was quickly able to turn this match around. Body slam. Fans getting behind the rock here. He drops. From Balor. Rock 
Catches Beller. Kick to the gut. Bulldog. Rolls out of the way. Back kick. Stomp to the chest. Plants the rock. Stomp to the chest. Drops the rock. Puts the rock into the corner. Oh, knee to the face. Beller goes up. And is able to counter into a neck breaker. The rock sends Beller into the corner. DDT from Beller. DDT again to Balor. Balor counters. Elbow to the back of the shoulder. And punch to the face. Balor able to sidestep. Puts the rock into the ropes. Knee to the jaw. Um, stumps him looked in, like to the chest Finn Balor Shotgun drop kick. And now he's going up top. Balor, Coupe to Gruss. Rock was able to move out of the way. I feel like Balor had this match in the bag. The Rock was able to move out of the way. Spinning forearm. Nice. Balor. Got to take a lot of power. Finn looking for the cover. Kick out from the rock. Balor headed up top. He comes off the top again. Not able to. Come hit the Coupe de Gras as the rock moves out of the way. Finn fights out quickly. And Zaguri. Drop kick. Oh, 
punch to the face of the Rock. And Finn Balor looks tired. Both these men look tired. What am I saying? He's still going hard. Face first into the apron. Okay, on the count of five, these guys better. Elbow drop. From Balor. Finn Balor seems like he's getting frustrated. Again, shotgun drop kick into the corner, looking for the cover. Finn Balor. Seems like he doesn't know what to do here. Another time. Can he hit it this time? No. Rock. Side steps. Oh, Finn. 13 16. And Balor takes the win. Awesome. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything, you guys want to catch up on everything, then head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth if you're not there already. If you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, I am out. Boom!